the Super Famicom, or as it was called in the West, the Super NES. However you say it, it was an amazing game system that had some great games for it. I had hours of fun with Castlevania, Ninja Turtles, Street Fighter, Mega Man X, Final Fantasy 2 II and 3, and many more great titles. Beyond that, it was also a cool looking piece of hardware. The pod-like shape, the two-tone color scheme, the abstract logo, and the controller with the now classic YXBA in green, blue, yellow, and red. Then there was the box. A simple design with bold colors. It was perfect. As for what came to North America, like Mama always said, it's what's on the inside that counts. The 16-bit Nintendo rocked the early 90s and as 2D changed to 3D, those memories stayed with me. Now we can relive a little bit of the past, because earlier this year, Nintendo announced the release of a special, limited edition version of the new 3DS LL with a Super Famicom design, released only in Japan, only for sale online, and only available for two weeks. It all began on April 12, 2016 when Nintendo sent an email announcing the sale. As long as you had a valid Japanese address, anyone could buy one, so long as you ordered by April 27th. I signed up to order one, here's what the order form looked like. Then we had to wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Well now the day has come, because on August 1st, Nintendo started shipping. Despite going from Kyoto all the way to boring old Saitama, it took only one day. And here we are, the moment of unboxing. Thanks for coming. I'll be quick because we all came here for one thing. To take a look at this up close and personal. Here's the box from Nintendo. Now, just for comparison's sake, I have a Club Nintendo shipping box from the old days which was white with the basic logo on there. And we can see that it's pretty much not the same. There's no marking from Nintendo or anything. We can see that we have the cool box in the yellow, green, red, and blue color scheme. Uh, it also came with, uh, where'd it go? <laughs> Also came with a with a receipt, and it also came with a little stamp from Nintendo saying that it was shipped on August first of 2016. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's open up the box. Let's open her up very carefully. Take a look at what is inside. Okay, so uh, of course we have the documentation. Uh, we have a couple AR cards here, and we have the the basic 3DS uh, start guide, safety guide. The instruction manual is here. A phone number for support is also here if you want to try that, and. Uh, also, we have a download code for a Super Famicom theme. Uh, once we get it started up and connected, I'm going to cash this in and download that Super Famicom theme. Uh, but that's all there is. There's no AC adapter anymore. And uh, it's actually kind of funny because the Famicom and the Super Famicom never came with an AC adapter. I'm not exactly sure why. I was always told it was a tax thing, but. You had to buy them separately. Okay. There we go. Wow. That is pretty cool. The only pictures I've seen of it is the unit open. I've never seen it closed, of course, but uh, you can see the top half and the bottom half of the Super Fab community. When we open it up, there is the uh, the design of the system that we've seen in so many pictures on the internet all summer long waiting for this and uh, of course on the inside you've got the unit you've got the uh, you've got the dark colored control pad and the start and select button and a four colored YXBA and uh, 
I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. Uh, unfortunately, the power light is just painted on. So I dug up the original Super Famicom box here. And we can compare it now to the Super Famicom 3DS box and take a look at how they are. Uh, both with the with the size and the color and the design Of course, it's a lot smaller design it's the same green on the top Yellow on the one side red on the other side and blue on the bottom exactly the same I think that's pretty cool Another interesting item that was released in Japan a couple months ago when the first 3DS, new 3DS, it came out was uh, that you could play Super Famicom, Super NES games on the 3DS finally. So they issued some of these cards. Uh, the card looks like Super Mario World cartridge, uh, 1,000 yen or 10 bucks, I guess, if you want to think of it in US dollars. Again, with the same color scheme and the same design. And, well... Of course, we've got a, a standard size uh, new 3DS here. This is the one that came out not that long ago, but it's the smaller one. I never got an XL until now. And you can see, of course, it's a little bit bigger. I also have the... Aha, uh -huh, here we go. I have the Wii Super Famicom Classic Controller, which was a... Club Nintendo giveaway from a few years back and uh, I really wanted to compare the box size here because the pictures made it look like it would be almost the same uh, it is a little bit smaller than the 3ds box in both horizontal and vertical size there uh, by a few millimeters but again it maintains the same color scheme and I like it very much. Okay. The final comparison that I have here. I have dug up my old Super Famicom. Okay. And I always wondered about this, seeing all these pictures of this. Of course the colors match. What about the back side of this and the front side of this? Let's take a look here. Well, it looks like the... 3DS is the same size, but the, uh, let's see, the coloring and the logo mm, don't exactly match up. The Super Famicom, the dark gray part here is actually a little bit bigger by about two or three millimeters around uh, each way. The design that's on the Super Famicom new 3ds ll is just a little bit smaller okay well i'm going to start this up so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching you've made it to the end which means you must have liked this video so why don't you give it a thumbs up it'll give google's computers something to do after that go ahead and leave a comment if i'm not busy i'll write you back if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe you'll stay up to date on the latest videos and after you've done that click on one of these three other videos i'm sure you'll like it